How to Catch Wild Pigs, Socialism Explained. Let me tell you a story. It's a hard story from a socialist country. Here's how the story goes. It starts with a question. Do you know how to catch wild pigs? You find a suitable place in the woods and you put corn on the ground. The pigs find it and begin to come every day to eat the free corn. When they are used to coming every day, you add a fence down one side of the place where they are used to coming. When they get used to the fence, they begin to eat the corn again. So you put up another side of the fence. They get used to that too and start to eat again. Soon, they go back to eating the free corn. You continue until you have a complete enclosure with a gate. The pigs, who are used to cut the free corn, start to come through the gate. You slam the gate on them and catch the whole herd. Suddenly, the pigs have lost their freedom. They run around and around, but they are caught. Soon, they go back to eating the free corn. They are so used to it that they have forgotten how to forage in the woods for themselves. So, they accept their captivity. I will now explain the parable of the wild pigs. You see, the corn is the free stuff from the government. Money, health care, daycare, education, and so on. It's nice, right? So much free stuff. Let's vote for free stuff. However, sorry to say, you are the wild pigs in this story. Defense is government regulations, limitations, laws. To understand this, let's look at some real examples. Let's go visit Tom and Alice. Hi Tom, what is it you always say about government? Of course. Well, I believe good government should provide free health care and a pension. And you Alice, what is it you always say? I think free daycare and free dental care are essential. Alice, can you give me five dollars, please? Okay. This is your free health care, Tom. This is for the government. Wonderful. Tom, can I have five dollars? Uh, sure. This is your free daycare, Alice. And this is for the government. Now, if both of you get all your free stuff, how much do each of you get? Tom has four dollars. Alice has four dollars. And the government has twelve dollars. It costs a lot to run a government, you know. They have overhead, staff, politicians, homes and offices, greed, cronyism, propaganda. But how do you lose your liberty in exchange for the free stuff is the question, isn't it? What are the fences in our story of the wild pigs? The first and most obvious government limitation is taxes. The more money you give to the government, the less you have to spend yourself. You pay income tax, provincial tax, unemployment tax, property tax, carbon tax, sales tax, gas tax, capital gains tax, and after you're gone, your kids pay inheritance tax. Then laws start to block you from your freedoms. Regulations about how you use your property, how you raise your children, where they go to school, how much money you can leave your children, and what you can build where, the regulations are endless. Is it possible that even the wild pigs are smarter than we are? At least they initially realized they were prisoners. When I ask Alice for the money, did she notice she was paying for Tom's free stuff? When I asked Tom for the money, did he notice he was paying for Alice's stuff? Did anybody notice that Tom and Alice started with $10 each and ended up with $4? Do you not think that if Alice and Tom had kept the money, they couldn't have gotten the services themselves? 
Because the government is using your money, they have little care for providing the best service. If Alice chose daycare for herself, she would want the best for her kids. The government would provide the cheap, the convenient, probably a service owned by somebody who would benefit the politician in charge. That's called cronyism. It wouldn't be the cheapest. It's not his money after all. It wouldn't be the best. It's not his kids after all. It's the same with health care. Canada is the horrible warning in this story. Even though we have long medical wait times, the healthcare system costs each and every Canadian $7,000 annually. And some people never go to the doctor and they're paying this. Tom's free healthcare isn't so great after all. Examples of how government wastes or misuses the money they demand from us through taxation are endless. How is all that free corn working out for you now? It seems we all have a choice to make. Will we choose to give up our freedom for free stuff? Or will we choose freedom?